In the constant chatter about economic growth, there arises a pivotal question that transcends conventional wisdom. Is the economy getting better? As we stand on the brink of 2024, it beckons us to contemplate a crucial turning point in our policies. The pursuit of a better world may lie not just in chasing economic growth, but in reimagining the very foundations that shape our future. In the intricate web of economic dynamics, the United States stands at a crossroads, grappling with the aftermath of the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic. Opinions on the trajectory of the US economy vary, reflecting the complexity of the recovery process. As some remain cautiously skeptical, others express optimism, asserting that the darkest days are now behind us. We embark on a journey to unravel the intricate threads of the US economic recovery, the year of resilience 2020 and its economic impact. The year 2020 will undoubtedly be inscribed in history as a time of unprecedented challenges, as the global community grappled with the far-reaching consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic. In the United States, the economic landscape bore witness to a seismic shift as businesses shuttered, unemployment soared, and entire industries faced existential threats. According to the Bureau of Economic Analysis, BEA, the US GDP stood at $20.93 trillion at the close of 2020, reflecting a 3.5% year-over-year decrease in real GDP. A steady climb, second quarter of 2021. Building on the momentum of the previous quarter, the second quarter of 2021, witnessed a further surge in real GDP, reaching an impressive 6.6%. The BEA attributed this expansion to the continued economic recovery, the reopening of establishments and the steadfast government response. This upward trajectory suggested that the nation was not merely rebounding but making significant strides towards pre-pandemic levels of economic activity. The figures painted a picture of resilience and adaptability, qualities that would prove instrumental in navigating the complexities of the post-pandemic world. The labor market a crucial indicator of recovery. A critical metric in assessing the overall health of the economy is the unemployment rate. At the peak of the pandemic in April 2020, this rate soared to nearly 15%, reflecting the dire impact on the labor market. However, by July 2021, this rate had significantly decreased to 5.4%. This decline paralleled a reduction in the number of Americans filing for unemployment benefits in August 2021, indicating a gradual restoration of confidence in the job market. The decreasing unemployment rate mirrored a broader trend, a gradual recovery in the employment landscape as businesses adapted to the evolving circumstances. The road ahead, potential for a return to normalcy. As the trend of economic recovery persists, there is a prospect of the US returning to the natural rate of unemployment, estimated at 4.5%. The resilience demonstrated by various sectors and the adaptability of businesses and individuals alike offer hope for a steady climb toward pre-pandemic economic conditions. The cautious optimism embedded in economic indicators suggests that the US is on a trajectory to regain stability and recalibrate to a new normal. Challenges on the horizon, caution, amidst optimism. While the recent economic indicators paint a promising picture, challenges persist on the horizon. The threat of new variants of the virus, global supply chain disruptions and inflation concerns pose potential hurdles to a seamless recovery. The delicate balance between optimism and caution underscores the need for continued vigilance and adaptive economic strategies. As the US navigates the delicate path to recovery, it must remain attuned to the dynamic nature of the global landscape and be prepared to address emerging challenges. In the complex tapestry of the US economic recovery, the contrasting figures of 2020 and 2021 reveal a story of resilience, adaptation, and the indomitable spirit of a nation facing unprecedented challenges. The rebounding GDP, declining unemployment rates, and a surge in economic activities are indicative of the collective efforts invested in rebuilding a robust and sustainable economy. 
As the US navigates the road ahead, it does so with the lessons learned from a tumultuous period, embodying the hope and determination necessary for a brighter economic future. The journey towards economic stability is ongoing, marked by both challenges and triumphs, as the nation charts a course towards a post-pandemic era defined by resilience and adaptability. The ebb and flow of a nation's economy are intricately tied to the heartbeat of consumer spending. As we delve into the GDP data, a striking revelation surfaces. The profound significance of consumer spending, constituting approximately two-thirds of the United States' overall gross domestic product, GDP. This economic cornerstone, however, faced unprecedented challenges during the COVID-19 pandemic, where preventative measures against the virus led to a significant decline in consumer expenditures. In this exploration, we scrutinize the nuances of consumer spending, dissecting its pivotal role in the broader economic landscape and tracing the trajectory of recovery after the initial pandemic shock. Consumer spending, a pillar of economic stability. Consumer spending, often regarded as the lifeblood of economic activity, plays a pivotal role in shaping the GDP. A staggering two-thirds of the nation's GDP is typically attributed to consumer spending, underscoring its unparalleled impact on the economic fabric. It serves as a barometer of economic health, reflecting the confidence and financial well-being of individuals and households. The symbiotic relationship between consumer spending and economic vitality is evident in the rhythms of prosperity and downturns. The pandemic blow unraveling the impact on consumer spending. The COVID-19 pandemic sent shockwaves through the global economy, disrupting established norms and upending daily life. As nations grappled with the virus's relentless spread, measures such as lockdowns and social distancing became imperative, profoundly impacting consumer behavior. The consequence was a drastic reduction in consumer spending as people opted to stay home to curb the virus's transmission. In December 2020, a stark reflection of the pandemic's toll on consumer spending emerged. Personal consumption spending, a critical component of the GDP, stood at approximately $12.92 trillion in chain 2012 dollars. Comparing this to the pre-pandemic December 2019 figure of $13.36 trillion, a troubling decrease in year-over-year -year data was evident. This decline, however, only scratches the surface of the complex narrative that unfolded in the wake of the pandemic's initial hit. Navigating the Tides of Economic Recovery To understand the true trajectory of economic recovery, we must delve into the depths of the pandemic's impact on consumer spending. In April 2020, as the world grappled with the uncertainties of the virus, Personal spending reached a nadir at just under $11 trillion. This marked the low point of a turbulent journey where economic uncertainty, job losses, and a climate of caution significantly restrained consumer expenditures. The Road to Resilience – Analyzing Post-Pandemic Consumer Spending Patterns As the nation gradually adapted to the new normal, the subsequent months witnessed a slow but steady recovery in consumer spending. The figures from December 2020 to April 2020 showcase a resilient bounce back from the trough. While the year-over-year -year data revealed a decline, it failed to encapsulate the nuanced narrative of resilience embedded within consumer spending patterns, consumer confidence and behavioral shifts. Consumer confidence, a key determinant of spending behavior, became a focal point in the journey toward economic recovery. The restoration of consumer confidence was intrinsically linked to factors such as vaccine distribution, economic stimulus measures, and the overall management of the pandemic. The gradual return of confidence was a harbinger of positive shifts in consumer behavior, government interventions, and stimulus measures. Government interventions played a crucial role in mitigating the economic impact of the pandemic. Stimulus measures, including direct payments, unemployment benefits, and small business support, injected liquidity into the system, providing a lifeline for households and businesses alike. 
The strategic deployment of these interventions aimed to bolster consumer spending, stimulate demand, and catalyze economic revival. Challenges on the horizon. Navigating variability. While the recovery in consumer spending is a testament to the resilience of the economy, challenges persist on the horizon. Variability in spending patterns, the emergence of new variants, and global economic uncertainties pose ongoing hurdles. The delicate dance between economic rejuvenation and external factors necessitates a nuanced approach to policymaking and economic management. The future landscape adapting to the new normal. As the economic landscape continues to evolve, adapting to the new normal becomes imperative. Businesses, policymakers, and consumers alike must navigate a landscape marked by adaptability, digital transformation, and resilience. Consumer spending as a dynamic force will continue to shape the contours of the economic recovery, acting as a compass for future trajectories. Consumer spending stands as both a reflection of economic health and a driver of recovery. The pandemic-induced disruptions tested the resilience of this economic cornerstone, leading to a decline in spending that rippled through the GDP. Yet, the story of recovery is not one-dimensional. It weaves through challenges, adaptations, and the collective resilience of a nation navigating uncharted waters. The journey from the depths of the pandemic's economic impact to the current landscape of recovery is a testament to the interconnectedness of consumer spending and economic vitality. As we navigate the road ahead, understanding the intricate dance between consumer confidence, government interventions, and the evolving economic landscape becomes paramount. The tale of consumer spending is not merely a snapshot of the past. It is a narrative that continues to unfold, shaping the contours of the economic future. As the tumultuous waves of the spring of 2020 swept across the global economy, leaving unprecedented disruptions in their wake, one sector emerged as an unexpected beacon of resilience, the housing market. In the face of widespread downturns, housing prices defied expectations, displaying a remarkable recovery that not only signaled the sector's vitality, but also hinted at broader signs of economic improvement. This exploration delves into the data points that illuminate the remarkable rebound of the housing market, tracing its trajectory from the uncertainties of the spring to the robust growth witnessed in the latter part of 2020 and beyond. The unyielding housing prices. Amid the economic upheaval of the spring of 2020, housing prices stood as a steadfast pillar refusing to succumb to the widespread pullback experienced in other sectors. While price growth experienced a momentary stagnation during the spring months, it never spiraled into decline. By June, a mere few months into the pandemic, housing prices not only resumed their upward trajectory, but reflected an impressive year-over-year -year growth rate exceeding 11% in December. This resilience is noteworthy, considering the broader economic landscape characterized by job losses, business closures and financial uncertainties. The housing market's ability to weather the storm and showcase consistent growth serves as an intriguing case study within the larger narrative of economic recovery. Sales of existing homes, a tale of swift recovery. The housing market's swift recovery is further underscored by the sales of existing homes, a key indicator of market activity. Despite a brief dip into negative territory during the spring, existing home sales quickly rebounded, resuming year-over-year -year growth by July 2020. This resilience in the face of adversity set the stage for a sustained trend, with total existing home sales reaching a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 5.99 million in July 2021. The magnitude of this growth becomes apparent when comparing the figures to the same period in the previous year. July 2021 witnessed a 1.5% year-over-year increase from the seasonally adjusted rate of 5.9 million existing home sales recorded in July 2020. This robust recovery in sales not only defied initial expectations, but also hinted at the underlying strength of the housing market as a driver of economic resurgence. Factors contributing to resilience Several factors contributed to the resilience of the housing market in the face of broader economic challenges. Understanding these elements provides insights into the dynamics that propelled the housing sector forward, 
amid uncertainty. Low mortgage rates. One significant factor bolstering the housing market was the persistently low mortgage rates. As the Federal Reserve implemented measures to stimulate economic activity, mortgage rates remained at historically low levels, incentivizing home buyers and supporting affordability. Remote work trends. The shift towards remote work arrangements, accelerated by the pandemic, played a role in shaping housing market dynamics. Individuals and families sought homes that catered to new lifestyle preferences, such as larger living spaces and access to outdoor amenities. Pent-up demand. The temporary dip in sales during the spring created a pent-up demand that contributed to the subsequent surge in home buying activity. As economic uncertainties eased, buyers returned to the market, driving a remarkable rebound in sales. Implications for the broader economy. The robust performance of the housing market carries implications that extend beyond the confines of real estate. As a critical component of the economy, the housing sector has historically played a pivotal role in economic recoveries. The resilience displayed in the face of the pandemic suggests that the housing market could act as a catalyst for broader economic improvement. Wealth effect. Rising home prices contribute to the wealth effect, wherein homeowners feel more financially secure and are likely to increase their spending. This, in turn, stimulates economic activity in various sectors. Construction and home improvement. A thriving housing market stimulates demand for construction and home improvement activities. This not only supports jobs in these sectors, but also has a cascading effect on related industries. Financial stability. The stability exhibited by the housing market contributes to overall financial stability, instilling confidence in consumers and investors alike. This confidence can translate into increased economic participation. While the housing market's resilience is commendable, challenges and considerations loom on the horizon. Potential headwinds include rising material costs, supply chain disruptions and the potential impact of rising interest rates. Navigating these challenges will require adaptive strategies and a nuanced understanding of market dynamics. The housing market's remarkable rebound amid the uncertainties of the spring of 2020 stands as a testament to its resilience and significance within the broader economic landscape. The unyielding housing prices and swift recovery in existing home sales serve as beacons of hope, suggesting that certain sectors can act as engines of economic recovery. As the housing market continues to navigate the evolving landscape, its performance will remain a critical barometer of economic health and a harbinger of potential prosperity in the post-pandemic era. The financial landscape witnessed unprecedented turbulence in the spring of year, with stocks crashing hard in the wake of global uncertainties, including the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the resilience of the stock market emerged as a remarkable narrative with a rapid recovery that defied expectations. This exploration delves into the roller coaster ride of stock prices, focusing on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, Dow, its record setting journey, and the profound economic implications that accompany such stock market dynamics. The Spring Plunge and Remarkable Recovery. As the world grappled with the uncertainties of the pandemic, the stock market experienced a severe downturn in the spring of year. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, a key indicator of the stock market's performance, faced a significant decline. However, what followed was a testament to the market's resilience and its ability to rebound with astonishing speed. By November 2020, the Dow not only recovered, but set closing records, marking a pivotal moment in the financial recovery narrative. The subsequent months saw the Dow continuing to defy expectations, reaching record highs in the months that followed. This upward trajectory culminated in record closes for the year in August 2021, underlining the remarkable journey of stock prices from the depths of uncertainty to new heights of optimism. Stock prices as leading economic indicators. While the immediate impact of higher stock prices might not be palpable for many Americans, it holds significant implications as a leading economic indicator. Stock market performance, often viewed as a barometer of economic health, 
influences the confidence and decision-making of corporate leaders, particularly CEOs. CEO confidence and investment. Rising stock prices instill confidence among corporate CEOs. The soaring numbers on the stock market charts are indicative of a positive economic outlook, leading CEOs to feel more optimistic about the future. This confidence translates into strategic decisions to invest in business expansion, acquire new equipment, and hire additional workers. Driving economic growth. The ripple effect of CEO confidence creates a virtuous cycle that propels economic growth. As businesses expand, invest and hire, there is a corresponding increase in income among workers. This rise in income, in turn, fuels greater consumer demand, contributing to a sustained cycle of economic growth. Positive feedback loop. The correlation between stock market performance and economic vitality creates a positive feedback loop. Higher stock prices signal prosperity, prompting increased investment and spending. This continuous cycle fosters an environment conducive to sustained economic expansion. The intricate dance between stock prices and economic growth underscores the interconnectedness of financial markets and broader economic trends. Navigating this virtuous cycle requires a delicate balance between market dynamics and the real-world impact on businesses and individuals. Corporate decision-making. The decisions made by corporate leaders in response to stock market trends play a pivotal role in shaping economic trajectories. Strategic investments, innovation and job creation are often outcomes of a positive stock market outlook. Consumer confidence. While higher stock prices may not immediately impact the majority of Americans, the resulting economic growth contributes to enhanced consumer confidence. As individuals witness increased job opportunities and income, their spending patterns further fuel the economic engine. Policy considerations. Policymakers and central banks closely monitor stock market performance as they formulate economic policies. The data gleaned from market trends informs decisions on interest rates, stimulus measures and regulatory frameworks. The resilience and rapid recovery of stock prices, as exemplified by the Dow's record-setting journey, carry implications that extend far beyond financial markets. It serves as a leading economic indicator, influencing corporate decisions, consumer confidence, and the overall trajectory of economic growth. As the stock market continues to chart its course, its role as a catalyst for economic prosperity remains a critical factor in shaping the post-pandemic economic landscape. In the complex tapestry of economic recovery, a stark disparity exists between the data suggesting a strengthening economy and the prevailing sentiment of discouragement and frustration felt by many. The trajectory of the economy, marred by the slow and unsteady recovery from the 2008 financial crisis, has been further complicated by the unprecedented challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. This exploration delves into the factors contributing to the perception that the economy is worsening, the nuanced concept of a K-shaped recovery, and the persistent issues such as slow wage growth and a nuanced unemployment rate that contribute to this complex narrative. The K-shaped recovery dilemma. While certain economic indicators, such as the swift recovery of stock prices, point toward a robust rebound, the term K-shaped recovery has emerged to capture the uneven distribution of economic outcomes. This metaphorical framework suggests that some segments of society are thriving in the current economy, while others grapple with prolonged challenges exacerbated by the pandemic's initial impact. Swift recovery of stock prices the recovery of stock prices to record highs, exemplified by indices like the Dow Jones Industrial Average, creates an illusion of overall economic prosperity. However, this upward trajectory is not reflective of the experiences of a significant portion of the population facing distinct economic struggles. Wage growth. Stagnation. One of the persistent challenges contributing to the perception of a worsening economy is the stagnation of wage growth over more than a decade. Despite the recovery of stocks post-2008, real median household incomes, when adjusted for inflation, have remained relatively unchanged since 1988. The slow pace of wage growth raises concerns about the broader distribution of economic benefits. 
Unemployment discrepancies. The official unemployment rate, a key metric often cited to gauge economic health, provides a limited perspective. The discrepancy between the official rate and a broader measure of unemployment, accounting for discouraged workers and those employed part-time involuntarily, reveals a more nuanced reality. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has emphasized this gap, pointing out that the real unemployment rate remains elevated compared to pre-recession levels. Understanding wage growth dynamics. A critical component influencing the perceived downturn in the economy is the intricate dance of wage growth. Decade-long stagnation, the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis witnessed slow wage growth, and the trend persisted for over a decade. Even as stocks rebounded, incomes failed to register significant increases. The real median household income in 2012 mirrored the figures from 1988, adjusted for inflation, creating a sense of economic stagnation for a considerable portion of the population. Unpacking year-over-year -year wage growth. The significance of year-over-year -year wage growth is underscored by its potential impact on the average hourly employee's earnings. With a healthier growth rate, an employee earning $30.54 per hour could be positioned to earn an hourly wage closer to $33.18, reflecting a more robust economic landscape. Navigating the unemployment conundrum. The intricacies of unemployment measurement reveal a nuanced picture that extends beyond the official rate, prompting a re-evaluation of the economic narrative. Historically low official rate. Before the pandemic, the official unemployment rate hovered around 3.5%, historically low by conventional standards. However, this figure presents a partial view, excluding individuals who are not actively seeking employment or those who are underemployed. Broader measure of unemployment, Treasury Secretary. Janet Yellen's advocacy for a broader measure of unemployment brings attention to those who are discouraged from seeking employment or are working part-time involuntarily. This more comprehensive measure paints a more accurate picture of the challenges faced by certain segments of the workforce. Addressing the perception gap. To bridge the perception gap between economic data and the daily experiences of individuals, it is crucial to acknowledge and address the factors contributing to this divergence. Communication and transparency. Effective communication of economic data and trends is essential. Government agencies, economists and media outlets should strive for transparency and clarity in presenting information to the public. This can help individuals better understand the nuances of economic recovery. Policy interventions. Policymakers play a pivotal role in shaping economic outcomes. Targeted policy interventions that address wage stagnation, employment disparities, and the unique challenges faced by different sectors of the population can contribute to a more inclusive and equitable recovery. Investing in education. Enhancing economic literacy among the general population can empower individuals to interpret economic indicators and understand their implications. Educational initiatives focused on economic concepts and their real-world impact can foster a more informed citizenry. As the United States grapples with the aftermath of the 2008 recession and the unprecedented challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, two critical issues loom large on the economic horizon. The persistently high national debt and the deteriorating state of the country's infrastructure. This exploration delves into the intricate relationship between the US debt-to-GDP ratio and the aging infrastructure, shedding light on the historical context, current challenges, and the imperative for strategic investments to revitalize the nation's economic foundation. US debt, a decade-long conundrum, historical context, the US debt as a percentage of gross domestic product, GDP, has consistently exceeded historical norms for over a decade. The trajectory of the debt-to-GDP ratio took a significant turn during the 2008 recession, surging to unprecedented levels that have yet to see a sustained reversal. Persistent elevation. The debt-to-GDP ratio surpassed the critical threshold of 100% in 2012, symbolizing that the nation's total public debt exceeded its economic output. While the ratio temporarily dipped below 100%, recent years have witnessed a concerning trend of debt consistently outpacing economic growth. 
The impact of the pandemic further exacerbated this fiscal challenge, pushing the debt-to-GDP ratio to a peak of over 135% in the second quarter of 2020, a level not witnessed before. Moderate relief. Encouragingly, there has been a slight reprieve, with the ratio receding to 125% in the second quarter of 2021. However, the spectre of a high debt burden continues to cast a shadow on the nation's fiscal health, necessitating a comprehensive strategy for sustainable economic recovery. Aging infrastructure. Neglect and deferred maintenance. Legacy of the New Deal. The infrastructure that underpins the U.S. economy, including roads, dams and bridges, is largely a legacy of the New Deal initiatives in the 1930s. While these structures played a crucial role in bolstering the nation's economy, they are now showing signs of age and wear, economic costs of decay. The consequences of aging infrastructure are not merely structural but also economic. Traffic congestion alone is estimated to cost the economy a staggering $120 billion annually. The outdated state of highways, water utilities and railroads poses a threat to the seamless functioning of the economy. Declining investment. Despite the evident need for updates and maintenance, total government spending on critical infrastructure has been on a downward trajectory since 2001. This trend is further exacerbated by the fact that more than three quarters of infrastructure funds come from state and local governments, leaving the federal government with a diminishing role in addressing the crisis. The interconnected quandary, debt, infrastructure and economic resilience, mutual impact. The challenges posed by the high debt to GDP ratio and deteriorating infrastructure are interconnected with each exacerbating the other. The burden of servicing a high national debt constrains the government's capacity to invest substantially in infrastructure. Simultaneously, decaying infrastructure hampers economic productivity and resilience, making it harder for the nation to navigate its fiscal challenges. Global competitiveness. A nation's economic competitiveness is intricately tied to the condition of its infrastructure. The US, once a leader in infrastructure development, risks falling behind its global counterparts due to inadequate investments. Addressing the infrastructure deficit becomes imperative not only for domestic economic stability, but also to maintain international competitiveness, job creation and economic stimulus. Strategic investments in infrastructure have the dual benefit of addressing economic vulnerabilities and providing a powerful stimulus. By modernizing and expanding infrastructure, the government can create jobs, spur economic activity, and lay the foundation for sustained growth. Comprehensive fiscal planning. Addressing the US debt challenge requires a multifaceted approach encompassing both revenue generation and expenditure rationalization. Policymakers must focus on strategic budgetary planning to gradually reduce the debt burden while safeguarding essential public services. Prioritized infrastructure investment Recognizing the pivotal role of infrastructure in economic vitality, the federal government must take a leading role in infrastructure investment. A comprehensive long-term plan that prioritizes key projects, embraces technological advancements and allocates funds judiciously is essential for revitalizing the nation's foundational structures. Public-private partnerships Leveraging public-private partnerships can be a catalyst for accelerating infrastructure projects. Collaborative efforts between government entities and private enterprises bring together diverse expertise and resources, fostering efficiency and innovation in infrastructure development. Job training and workforce development. A renewed focus on job training and workforce development is crucial to meet the demands of an ambitious infrastructure agenda. As new projects come to fruition, a skilled and adaptable workforce will play a pivotal role in ensuring their success. Navigating the delicate equilibrium between a high national debt and crumbling infrastructure demands a strategic and concerted effort. The interconnected nature of these challenges necessitates a comprehensive approach that acknowledges the mutual impact of fiscal health and economic infrastructure. By prioritizing targeted investments, embracing innovative financing models 
and fostering collaboration between the public and private sectors, the United States can chart a course toward economic resilience and sustainable growth. The imperative lies not only in addressing the immediate concerns, but in laying the groundwork for a future where a robust economy and modernized infrastructure coexist harmoniously.